I can't look at the train station in my hometown of Baltimore without thinking of the train station in Plasticville. They, to me, look pretty similar. What do you think? So before we focus on this building, let me stop the snow. It's snowing really hard, so I had the power to make it stop, because I'm the mayor. So here we go. Snow, you must stop now. <sighs> Always amazing. And happy spring. We're here in Plasticville a little off season, but it's always wintertime here in Plasticville. So we're back here, out of season, to focus on this structure, this beautiful, beautiful Plasticville train station. Plasticville is very much a train city, so it's important that the train station in Plasticville be a spectacular building, and this building really is. First issued in 1956, and this is, by the way, the original box. The only thing that changed about the building is the clock. The original clock is a little plastic, as this station has, is a little plastic piece that fits in the front of the building, on the top. And in the 80s, they switched to a sticker that you just stick on the building. Um, just a word about time. I, I want to do a video later on this year about time in plastic, you know, the clocks. There's a problem with the clocks. Uh, but here's the front of the building, and on this you can see that it is a couple minutes after 12 o'clock, which is the same time that it is on Plasticville Hall, but it's not the same as other clocks in Plasticville. So it's a problem. Beginning in the 1980s, the time was a little bit before five o'clock. Don't know why, we'll investigate and report back to you. Nowhere on the actual building itself does it say Union Station, but it does say Union Station on the box. My plastic grill actually has two train stations. This one, which is the actual plastic grill station, Union Station. The other one is Noma Talking Station, which isn't really a Plasticville building at all, but it's a building that my family has always used on our Plasticville setup, and so it's tradition, and so I keep it. I look at that as more of a, of a station for um, the suburbs and towns close by, whereas if you want to go across country, you need to, get the you need to take the train at this station. Other train stations too, at least one other that Plasticville makes, which is a suburban station, which I have, but I know I have room for it and I don't have a need for it since uh, I have already two, two stations. So I leave that one out. And there's also a freight station, which I use as kind of just a trolley stop. So, 
one of my favorite buildings, probably one of your favorite buildings as well. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Plasticville Station. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. See you soon. Have a good summer.